trade has escalated so rapidly and so fast in this region that a web of interdependency has developed from which no country in their right mind can extricate themselves. One of the myths, as I see it, in the way we picture the world is that we look at countries as if they're in competition economically. But let's remember this fact. Countries don't trade. Companies and corporations do. They're the ones that uh, transfer investments across borders and engage in trade. Uh, as China has tried to participate in the global marketplace, it has found itself losing its grip over the control of entrepreneurs which have risen up and have uh, engaged in, um, in very active kinds of uh, trading agreements. Uh, this situation puts everyone in Asia, because they're all participating, in the same boat. Everyone needs everyone else. And I mentioned this crisscrossing playing field. Uh, Taiwan, the last I saw my statistics, ranks as the 10th largest trading partner of the mainland. They need it. Billions of dollars have gone from Taiwan in, as investments in the mainland. And there are many entrepreneurs from the mainland operating actively, cooperatively, on, on the mainland. This is a web that would be very hard to break because no one would benefit if that were severed. Mm -hmm.